After 32 years at the CBC, all spent in the Toronto newsroom, we are saying goodbye to a good friend and great journalist. CBC Toronto's late night host Mike Wise is moving on to the next chapter in his career, training young journalists. Over his career with CBC Toronto, Mike has filed thousands of stories that stints with our entertainment team and at Queen's Park and has shown us the newest tech gadgets on the market recently. Tonight will be his last show and to talk about his career, Mike Wise joins us now with some COVID distancing mm -hmm. in the newsroom here. More than three decades you've been with the CBC, Mike, all with CBC Toronto. Now, I remember seeing you as a young reporter out on these streets. How are you feeling today? Uh, I'm still having a hard time processing this today, Dwight. Um, trying not to think about my final newscast tonight at 11 o'clock. Still thinking my way through what I'll be, be uh, saying there. I know we ran into each other, uh, both reporting out in, in the 90s, uh, covering the city of Toronto, both of us shooting with cameras on our <laughs> shoulders. Um, I have spent a good chunk of my life here. Uh, 32 years technically. I've been full-time since I graduated from university, about 26 years or so. But I had an un unbelievable opportunity when I was in high school to uh, get exposed to how a big city newsroom works as a high school intern and they tell you as a young intern make sure you get your foot in the door I somehow managed to get my foot my leg my elbow my arm <laughs> it, I, I just didn't leave my last year of high school back when there was five years of high school uh, I spent that working weekends I put my way through university working summers and Christmases here uh, I've spent so much time and I've had so many opportunities so many friendships uh, I, I'm just so so blessed and thankful uh, for this as I get ready uh, for the final <laughs> show tonight and then start a new chapter in my life. You know, your, your work ethic and your personality have made you very popular in our newsroom. Others now are going to be lucky to have what we've had all this time. Tell the viewers what's next. I am going into academia, you could say. Uh, <laughs> Full-time journalism professor, uh, taking an opportunity. I'm uh, moving to Humber College where I'm going to be a program coordinator of a graduate journalism program there, also working with uh, undergraduates in a, in a diploma program is, is there as well. So it's a real chance to, to train young journalists coming up. Uh, as a young journalist yourself coming up, you learn from so many others and you pick up things and there's that sense you want to help um, uh, younger people come up and face the challenges of the business going forward and, and, and Lord knows uh, the journalism business has challenges in the 20s uh, going forward so that'll be a big challenge of that uh, coming up with the skills to work in TV radio uh, online and, and who knows what other formats might be out there and, and understand the business of journalism how that's changing and how they can uh, those students can best uh, equip themselves for that future you are the right man for the job, Mike Wise, and we have a few favorite Mike Wise moments from your career. We put them together, so here's a look back at your time with CBC Toronto. Mike is a writer with a writer's taste for the occult and bizarre, although he takes this further than most. He's developed a dependency on one of the weirdest substances in the history of molecules, peanut butter pretzels. Wise is a writer. Who says a writer has to be happy? Despite the large volume of cars sold today, many went for less than what their owners wanted. There were bargains everywhere, like this 1947 Ford. It could have got up to $40,000, but its new owners picked it up for a little over $20,000. This weekend is about more than just competition. It's a whole celebration of courier culture, art, music, and clothing. Last night they held something that didn't even make the official media guide, the Naked Race. Star Wars memorabilia and action figures went on to sell $3 billion worth worldwide, a small portion of which made its way under my tree on Christmas morning. 20 years later, and except for a few missing parts, my Millennium Falcon has survived thanks to a storage box in my mom's basement. And it was thanks to toys like this that Star Wars fans my age were able to relive the movie long after we had seen it in the theaters. What the stage show also has is celebrity guest stars you're a cute kid, but you're gonna die. Okay, no, right. well, no, no, you don't, you don't understand. See, when I grow up one day, I'll, I'll be an entertainment reporter on the CBC. I, I really need to get on that boat. Ooh, Make that small C celebrity uh, guest stars. Oh we're God. gonna go crazy now. We're all gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> to the women on Young Street. If anything, these movies show just how far Canadian features have come, or just as Young Street has changed since Going Down the Road was made. So too has the Canadian film industry. The much anticipated SARS relief concert is in full swing. The CBC's Mike Wise is at Downsview and he joins us now. Mike, what's it like out there? 
The latest crowd estimates uh, I was hearing uh, even a good 45 minutes ago were a, uh, at least 350,000 people. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it's approaching that, that 400,000 mark at this point. When I look behind me, I just see like seas of people walking back and forth, scouting out for that all-important seat so they can sit down and catch some of the later acts. I was very disappointed in uh, the Liberals, both in respect of uh, they're not answering the questions, which I guess is nothing new. McGinty did try to compliment Tory, saying he hopes he can bring some focus to the opposition. Tory's response, he hopes McGinty can bring some focus to his government. Mike Wise, CBC News, Toronto. We're going to be the new politicians. In the lives. We're going to grow up and make all your laws. They've been involved with making the grade since the beginning. Cardinal Carter's bill-making team signed up early, determined to make a difference. Andrea, this is the bill-making team. Hello. Hi, how are you? So we're, we're going to take you in, show you a little bit uh, of what uh, the building looks like on the inside now that you've seen the outside. Andrea Horvath is one of three MPPs agreeing to introduce a student bill and introduce students to the political process. Over to our eye desk and Mike Wise with more on this, Mike. And amongst my relatives, I had all of them saying <laughs> I've spent hours and hours looking at Street View. Well, we got some figures from hitwise.com today, a company that measures internet traffic and trends. It shows that Google Maps soared in popularity in Canada once the Street View feature was launched. If you're not familiar with it, here's how it works. Um, this is uh, Google Maps. You look up in the top left-hand corner, there's a little figurine, you drag that, drop it on a street, and look what happens. Boom, you get a street level view of what's happening. That works. Oh, yeah, I do up the job. This is CBC News Toronto. Hello, I'm Mike Wise. Tonight, we're also broadcasting to Windsor and Southern Ontario. A special welcome to those viewers. Mike Wise, final thoughts from you as we take a look at the map of Ontario and a bit of the change there. Actually, yeah, I want to show you how it has changed and actually take us back in time. We go to 2007. This is how the province looked under Dalton McGuinty when he had a majority. Here are tonight's results. You see the Liberals able to connect, build their support out from the Greater Toronto Area, connecting these things. We talk about Kathleen Wynne being a runner. If she wants to take up the Ultra Marathon, she could run from Peterborough all the way to Brantford and not leave a Liberal riding. The home run that sealed the deal. The Jays pulled off the comeback tonight, capturing their series against Texas. Hi everyone, I'm Mike Wise. The city is still buzzing after the Jays beat the Texas Rangers tonight. A roller coaster of a game filled with controversial plays and a raucous home crowd. Tonight, if you're tired of those subway closures on the weekend, the TTC says, sorry. And with cold weather, any Raptors fans heading outside tonight to celebrate have to ask themselves, what about scarves? The fashionable Raptors setting an all-time franchise record winning streak tonight. As your late local news for now, for Nick and everyone here in CBC News Toronto Late Night, thanks for watching. Have a good night. Well, that was uh, great. Thanks to Arima Hamadi for putting that yeah. together. I'm still trying to figure out if I like the boy band hair, Mike, yeah. or the goatee. And I forgot what hair was like. There's having that so much many hair to choose nervous. from. But, yeah. you know, before we finish up, what are some of your favorite memories, both on and off the screen, Mike? Uh, for the record, I still have that Millennium Falcon. <laughs> Drives my <laughs> wife crazy, won't throw it out. Um, the, looking back at that series I did called Making the Grade, uh, it had to be my proudest moment as a journalist here. That was uh, an attempt uh, when I was working at Queen's Park trying to find ways to engage young people in politics. And I was given great freedom here to develop a, an ongoing series where I had three high schools uh, working with the three political parties at Queen's Park at the time, each of them sponsoring a private member's bill. And it all culminated in a special second reading uh, where the student written bills were debated by the politicians. Some even led to some change there. It was a real uh, career high for me uh, pulling that together. And still I'm in touch with some of the students that were involved in that project. Yeah, those future leaders are now leading. So. Talk about how this place has changed and maybe what, you know, you've learned that you're going to take with you as you go off and become an educator. So many things. I, I started before there was even this CBC building, back uh, in the old CBLT newsroom, uh, 500 Church. I, I've seen technology change, um, being able to bridge the before computers day when you had to pick up a phone or find someone with a, uh, a Rolodex to actually look up contacts, seeing how all that technology has changed, uh, but still the storytelling is there. Uh, it, it, it's the lessons I've learned about storytelling and other journalists have been kind enough to share with me. Um, 
I'm really seeing that as, as my opportunity to, to help them out, not just keep tabs on the latest technology, because technology will all be, always be changing, but there's got to be heart to the story, there's responsibility with the storytelling, uh, knowing how to get it, and, and, and that's something I've learned from my colleagues here, which makes this, this place so special, which makes it really uh, hard to leave, Dwight. <laughs> uh, love my time here, love this place uh, dearly, and I'm going to take so much of it with me. It is a really bittersweet moment for us. We're happy for the next chapter, but we're sad to see you go, of course. And someone else wants to wish you well in your next chapter, of course. Mm. The other part of our team here. What's up, Colin? Yeah, I just want to share something with you, Mike, which nope. is that when I, I walk out of the studio, my phone will be ringing off the hook because I could not let my mom know that you were retiring because <laughs> she is not going to be able to handle it. So she's always like, and, and Dwight, by the way, you can never retire because she can't lose you both. She's always like, oh, that Mike Wise, he's so sweet, he's so nice. Oh, that Mike Wise. <laughs> and, and my point here is this, for all your talent and your hard work and professionalism, it always does come back. Everyone always says how kind you are, and it is true. She's always like, is he as nice as he seems? Uh -huh. He is as nice, you are as nice as you seem, and so kind to everyone always, and you're gonna be missed so much for that. I'm sorry, Mom, mm -hmm. he's retiring. Mm -hmm. Dwight, now you can never retire, that's just how it is. Can't lose you both. Now retiring, transitioning to a new chapter, I like to say. Yes, I'm far too young absolutely. to use and that word there why, as well. Yeah. That's why your students are going to be so lucky to have you. Yeah. Everything you brought here, now you get to take there. Yeah, no, I, I certainly appreciate it. The, the, the kind words, the, the people who've reached out to me uh, on Twitter and other social media channels really like that. Uh, again, it's a, it's a day I'm still processing uh, what it's going to be. I don't think it's going to hit me uh, until tomorrow, the next day, later in the week. Um, I, I was reading a story uh, in the Toronto Star last week, and there was a picture of the, just the CBC building in it. And I just had this pang of, oh, that, that's been my home for a good chunk <laughs> of my life. Uh, and, but people move, move on. There's, there's a, a place, part of me that's always with here, always passionately uh, support this place. And I'm so appreciative of the opportunities here and so appreciative of the audience that's let me tell their stories and welcome me into their homes. Uh, still got another 30 minutes to do, uh, to put, so I'm going to try yes. to keep things together here as keep well. Keep it together. Let's get them off the screen before he starts <laughs> breaking up. We are going to tune in for your final show tonight. You know what they always say, Mike, when people mm. watch us on the screen, they can tell if we're genuine. And people always say to me about Mike Wise, he's a nice guy, isn't he? And you know what? It comes through the screen, buddy, your personality, always. the kind of person you are. And it's been a real pleasure working with you. And hopefully, Colette and I can come out to your class. Absolutely. And maybe talk to some of your students. But congratulations, and we'll virtual see you tonight hug. for the virtual last one. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Thank We're going to miss you, buddy. That is our show for tonight. Thank you for joining us. We will see you back here tomorrow at 6. I can, Chris Glover is going to be taking the show to air. Have a great night for the final time. I get to say this. Mike Wise has your next local news tonight at 11, right after the national. Make sure you tune in. I'll be tuning in tonight. Have a great night, everybody.